Jordan, I am beyond ecstatic to become your wife today. Although, I know this comes with some caveats. <laughs> that being said, I know you will make up for it in more ways than one. I promise to be brave with you and push the limits of our comfort zones in order to grow together. I promise to always be a goofball with you and stay young at heart for all the years to come. I promise to be the best mom I can be when it comes time to give our fur babies people siblings because I already know you're going to be the best dad. I promise to appreciate you, to accept you, and to be present whenever I'm with you. I promise I will continue to love you with my whole heart and let our love grow until we're old and gray. Love you. Sydney, meeting you and falling in love with you has been the best thing that has happened in my life. You know me better than anyone on this planet and somehow you still love me. I consider myself the luckiest man in the world to get to be your husband. I knew from our very first date that this felt different. Not long after, I knew you were the woman I wanted to marry. I am forever grateful that you chose me to be your life partner. Here are my promises to you. I promise to love and care for you eternally. I promise to get you a bowl of ice cream when we are relaxing on the couch. I promise to be honest, loyal, and trustworthy. I promise to build a life with you, a family with you, and be the best husband and father I can be. I love you, Sydney. As you get towards the fourth quarter of life, <laughs> you find yourself looking up at the time clock and the scoreboard, and you start hoping for some threes. And so for us today, this is a half court shot, nothing but net. <laughs> Jordan, do you take Sydney to be your lawfully wedded wife in sickness and health so long as you both shall live? I do. Sydney, do you take Jordan to be your lawfully wedded husband in sickness and health so long as you both shall live? I do. Sydney, as a token of your love and your commitment to Jordan, will you place the ring on Jordan's finger? <laughs> and Jordan, as a symbol of your love and commitment to Sydney, will you place a ring on her finger? Okay, well, if you haven't already done this before, Jordan, you make us a bride. I now pronounce you husband and wife. It's legal now, folks. We've been blessed to have both Sydney in our lives since day one and Jordan for the last couple years. I don't know how we got so lucky, but it's, it's been extremely easy. And I think the two of you will find it, it is easy if you find the right person. A toast to these uh, beautiful people that fell in love. I just want to thank you guys for being inspirations to me and just some true passion and true love for each other and I really appreciate to see that between you two. Let's just raise our glasses and celebrate Sydney and Jordan. I will never forget when Jordan first mentioned uh, you to me. He said, I, I have a crush on this girl named Sydney. He says, we've been texting. <laughs> and he says, she's cute. I really just couldn't be more proud of you two and more happy for you two. And I just know that you're going to have a long and very happy marriage. So cheers to my two new best friends. <laughs> <laughs>